Hello everyone and welcome back. So this week I'm answering your questions all about hats because there have been a lot of people asking the same questions, leaving comments constantly, asking the same thing and one of them is where do you source your hats? So I think I've got five things on my list to talk about today. Let's get into it. Number one. What tool do you use? It is just a wood burning tool. Super simple and easy. All you have to do is Google wood burning tool and they will all come up. This is the one that I use. It was not expensive. I don't even think it was 15 pounds. But really just Google it and you'll find one that you want that's the price for you. Read the descriptions, you might think, oh, this one sounds a little bit better than that one. You know, prices change, they vary. Also, definitely use one of these. I think I've been using mine for a couple of months now and it's starting to get quite hot. So I think I need a new one, but you'll be able to figure that out yourself. But yeah, number one, burning tool. Okay, two. So two and three kind of go in hand, hand in hand with each other. Pressure. How much pressure do you know to put on a hat when you're burning it? You're going to be able to tell that yourself. So the pressure you put on will depend on the heat that you've got your tool on. So mine usually sits at about 300. But it also really depends on the quality of the hat, the thickness of the fabric, what kind of fabric fibres they've used to make the hat. There are so many different things. The only thing I can say about this for you guys is, and I've said this before, I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself with that, but I've said this before, is buy a spare hat. If you're making a hat for yourself and you're like, oh, but I'm not sure if I'll do very well with making the patterns and stuff on it. What if I burn a hole in it? You know, many different things. Buy a spare one because you can use that spare one as your practice hat do some doodling on it, change the temperatures on it. You know, you might decide, well, I like that, but the thickness of it isn't quite good. It's burning through quite quickly. There are many different things. The best advice I can give you is buy a spare hat and practice on it. Because that is what I do. Because I wouldn't want to sell a hat to one of you guys and it be really bad quality or the picture isn't coming out quite as nice and the colour doesn't, when you burn them, the colour doesn't show as well. There are many different things. So that's two and three together. Next, number four. So four was a question I've had a couple of times and it's why do you steam your hats? So the reason I steam my hats is when you steam your hats, you can shape them a bit better. So I make sure that they're, the brim of them is nice and flat and the top of them have got, you know, like a nice teardrop shape and stuff like that. I like to steam them and make sure they're all pretty because I wouldn't sell a hat to somebody that was all creased and out of shape. It would be really weird. And sometimes when you do order your hats online instead of buying them locally, they can come through really crumpled up and you've got to work pretty hard to steam them back into shape. So that is why I steam my hats to make them all pretty for you guys. Okay, number five, which is the last question. And this is the one I get the most. Where do you source your hats from? And there's a few comments out there of you guys getting quite annoyed with me because I'm not telling you where I source my hats from. I'm not telling you where I source my hats from purely because then you guys would be making the same hats that I'm trying to sell. I'm sure you can understand that that would be a bit silly. <laughs> so I will tell you this though. All you have to do is Google fedora hat. Google it and go and find ones that you like. You know, what you like might not be the same as what I like and might not be the same as what somebody else likes. So Google, look at the hats that you like, look at the prices that you want to buy them for and just do that. Then, you know, you're happy, I'm happy, everybody else is happy. It's easy, man. Google. <laughs> okay, last thing. This isn't part of the list, but would you like to be in with a chance of winning this beautiful cherry blossom 
coral colored fedora hat that I have made especially for a giveaway over on our Facebook page. So if you want to win this hat, make sure to go over to the Facebook page. The link is down below. I'll also put it in the comments this week as well. And all you have to do is follow three simple steps. Like the Facebook page, tag at least three friends and share the post on your Facebook page. Pretty easy, right? Three steps. Nice. So as always, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out and I will see you next time. Also, remember and subscribe if you would like to. And if you have any more questions that you'd like answered, leave them in the comments below and I will try and get back to you next time we do a little question thing. I'm sure you'll all ask exactly where I source my hats from again. You know, it doesn't get old at all. <laughs>